Um, I made a small tweak to the stream. Tell me what you think of it. Tell me, for instance, do you notice a difference? Just start with the prelude and go through it so you learn all the shortcuts. It's entirely mouse-based. Okay. Maybe one day I'll stream it. Who knows? You can use a Waz the camera mode. Love that wazd. If you're, um, let me know, first of all, like, if you don't notice any differences to the stream, let me know that. Because that's actually very helpful information. That's very good to know. Oh, notice the chat isn't refreshed. Oh, uh huh. Wait a, wait a. Good job, Bimple. We're, we're introducing the new interface with an unrefreshed chat. Good job. Love that in me. Doesn't seem to be updating. Yeah, that's my bad. Um. I realized that the chat could very easily fit in this uh, DOS window that is behind the stream, and I think that looks pretty good and actually it feels pretty appropriate. Um, also, a very minor but very important difference in this um, overlay, and I, I would love your input on it, though your input may not affect the outcome here, unfortunately. Uh, I did shrink the game ever so slightly. Reason being is I've mentioned in the past that um, one of the downsides of streaming more is that I have less time to record and less time to edit. Um, well, you know, edit, that's fine. But the recording part, that's the difficult part. And um, though I like to capture stream, like I, I like to highlight stream in, in some of my videos, um, I do think that when you're watching an, a highlight, the overlay can kind of get in the way. So I'd like to do both highlighting the stream, but also highlighting the game. Very difficult to highlight the game when there's overlay stuff um, kind of overlapping it. Um, I'm doing a very bad job of explaining myself, but basically when chat or my VTube, my PNG tube is overlapping the game, that means I am very limited in how I highlight the stream. So what I've done is I've tweaked it so that the game window is self-contained and uh, therefore I can do zoom. I can just zoom in on the game. Uh, there will be a little tiny loss in quality, but it's honestly not a big deal compared to not being able to do it at all. So um, like the chat being under full window makes it look more immersive. Yeah, I like I, I think it works really well. Did I catch the start? You did catch the start. I'm just explaining my new stream overlay. So uh, yeah, uh, that's that's the only difference. And I, you know, I, I remember mentioning before that I wanted to, um, I wanted to maybe even talk about getting rid of the stream overlay. And Kevbo uh, said that they they would feel very bad in a very respectful way that uh, didn't make light of uh, trauma. So, uh huh. Uh, taking that very rationally spoken feedback in mind, uh, I decided to not lose the overlay and instead find another compromise that works better for everyone. Isn't that fun? Hey, I just remembered what we're doing. We're going to the, the big old ship, aren't we? Yes, we are. We are. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I have everything I needed to go to the ship because I have my oxygen, I have water, I have everything I needed. So we're just going to the ship, the Aurora. That's what we're doing. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I saw it needs repairs. No, don't get in it, you silly man. Okay. I definitely did not mention, yeah, I, I mean, huh? that's the one, that's the one I didn't want to say. There's the Aurora. 
taking week-long breaks between sessions of this game is well definitely makes things a little bit difficult for sure you need a lot of inventory space pimple and the rebreather is useless on the surface okay uh you're right i don't need the rebreather okay There's no way to expand my, um... Wait, do I need... Do I have another power cell on me? I don't have another power cell on me. I wonder if I have... Do I have enough, uh, juice for my, my scooter? Ugh. I, I, this is not enough inventory space, I'm guessing. I'm kind of considering not taking the Pathfinder tool, honestly. Are those fish cooked? No, they're cured. So they should last me the entire session. I cured them specifically for this journey. I wonder if I could find a... Do you think we could find a, an underwater voice for my for my voice changer? Let me see here. Let me see. Let's go like one pitch down. Kind of max the reverb out. Hello? Hello? I mean that that kind of works. I don't know. I would maybe store the sea glide too. Um, kind of want to use the sea glide. I don't like these fish. They're weird. Okay, so there's really only one fish I have to be worried about, and I know where it is. Oh, I don't... I'm not too concerned. There it is. Okay, back up. Back up. Oops. Um, he's kind of making his way over here. Okay. How are we doing this? How am I getting around that, d that dude? There's only one fish you have to worry about. Where did he go? I don't know where it went. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, okay, okay. We're all right, we're all right. That's good. Now, I kind of hate this zone because it's really confusing where I can and cannot go. Um... I 
All right, all right, all right. We're... I'm just gonna... Figure this out. Methodically. I feel like it's closer to the surface. That I can, uh, get in. It feels like here. Am I wrong about that? I really cannot tell where I'm getting in. This, uh, this whole area is very janky. Oh, good. And now it's nighttime, so I can't really see anything now. Um. Literally on the surface? Okay. Is it this? Oh, wait a minute. I think I see something. It's at the surface level somewhere. Well, I see a crab lad. Going to assume if I see electricity uh, or any kind of ha hazard, then that's a good sign. Okay. Let's, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this. Ow. I hate that. It's, re it's really annoying. Okay, okay. We've, we were here. Cannot drive the CMOS into the Aurora. You have to get on. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Yo, buddy. Alright, we, we don't need this. I, I need my knife. Uh, let's use this. I see now why you wanted me to use, to, to ditch the Sea Glide. Gotcha. Yo, buddy, are you okay? I hate these lads. There's a lot of them here. Okay, whatever. You're fine. Okay, okay. We're good. Sorry for the caps lock emphasis. I've been drinking. No worries. Um, alright. So, we're gonna need something for this. I'm assuming it, this is where the propulsion cannon is gonna come in handy. I'm still pressing escape when I mean to escape a uh, menu yo it's a gravity gun it is a gravity gun i love that i love that for this game i love that we have a gravity gun now now kiss. Do it because I love you. Okay. Fire extinguisher time. Still pressing escape. I will never not learn to do that. To not do that. 
This is how I put out fires. Okay. Okay. We're in it now. Let's figure this out. Can I go over there? I'm assuming that's the only place I cannot go, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm assuming I'm gonna need my scanner. Cause that looks like something important. No? So I'm already getting lost, so I'm 100% going to need the thing here. Um, Pathfinder tool. Let's pull that out instead of the scanner. More tool than weapon. Yep. Makes sense. Do I have a code for this? Did I just reset... The stupid nodes. I did, didn't I? Didn't mean to do that. Uh, e. Okay, uh, have I, do I have a code for that or am I not doing that right now? This is the repair tool. I'm gonna need the laser cutter. Still pressing escape. Love that for me. He didn't read that the gravity gun works on the little evil crabs. Oh no. It only works on inanimate objects and small stuff, minerals, fish, evil, alien crabs you hate. Oh good. Okay, getting my oxygen back. Also, is this full of... No, it's empty. Okay, we gotta... I did it again. I swear to God. I swear to God. That shouldn't even be an option. Okay. Okay, we have oxygen in that tank and in that tank. Good. Wasting all kinds of time here, but you gotta... You know, I, I'm trying to do this methodically. Well, we have oxygen up here. Maybe. Data terminal. Aurora black box data. You can blast them. Okay, let's um look at that. Craig McGill crash landed in the acid swamps of Boreal, fought off arachnid kidney poachers, and hijacked a tame star whale. If you can do all that, you can survive one more day. Data da data downloads. Codes and clues. Uh, just love some Nautica and blows you so gosh darn much. It's, it's, it's a good game. Ow. Um, ow. So I got some data. I don't know how it is related to me right now. Codes and clues. Um, Bimple played Skyrim by dragging some crabs on his way in, yeah. 
So, do I have the code for this door? Because if I don't, I feel like this is the end. There's like, this is like very much a dead end. Um, I'm gonna try and figure this out and try not to get burned to death. Oh, here we go. Lab access. Alright, where is that? Uh, 6483. Uh, no. I, it's amazing how close I was, actually. 6483. gonna get some air oh you can move them I don't like that actually okay we're gonna go oh I guess there's better oxygen over here sorry guys I know I'm like doing this in a an, in an annoying way but I'm, I'm trying my best okay Open the door. If there was a jump scare fish in here, that would have been... They would have got me. Pick up microscope non-functioning. Sample analyze analyzer. Just picking stuff up. Your repulsion cannon, something, something, has been something. I appreciate that there's oxygen here. It would suck pretty hard if you had to get off the Aurora to get the codes for the doors. It would. All the codes are in Aurora. Okay, good to know. Appreciate it. Wait a minute, I've been here. This is... What? We're not done, are we? That's not it, is it? This looks like something I can scan. Um, are these the only things I need? Doesn't look like I can scan that. I can scan the counter, oh boy. Hive mind of straighter. How, how damaged am I in it? Hey, Andrino. Did it say I'm, I'm bad? Infected. I need to uh, figure that out, don't I? Is that it? Way more to the Aurora than this, and those non-functional items you picked up are inventory-wasting traps. Well, where do I go then? So, like, do I just ditch these in? Non-functional laboratory equipment. I'm just gonna drop them then. I'm gonna drop them, and if someone... Unless someone tells me that they're important, I'm, I'm not going to pick them up again. Okay, where are we going? Aurora. Aurora. Oh, there's there's more in here.
This looks like the freaking reactor to Chernobyl. I, I don't like being in here. Okay. Vital signs stabilizing. That's gonna help a lot with my inventory space, I'll tell you that for nothing. Is this something important? Uh, telling him exactly where to go, but the Aurora kind of sucks for newbies. It is a bit, a little bit labyrinthine. Um, we still have a fire extinguisher, so let's grab that, and we're gonna grab the pro repulsion cannon. Prop so I see we got a repulsion cannon, and and, and, and inst what we've been using has is been the propulsion cannon. <coughs> I can't deal with any of this stuff. Important room here, Bimple. Gotcha. This is locked. Living quarters. Damage wiring. Repair tool. Alright. Seems like every time I put something away, I need it instantly. Okay, we got some good stuff here, maybe. Oh, we got a battery. I could certainly use that. First aid kit, PDA. I like salad condiments. What is this about condiments? Salt and vinegar. Olive oil on my salads. Are we talking favorite salad dressings? Oh, no. All right. Select. Anything in there, nothing in there. Can we scan these? Can we scan anything in this room? Nope. Doesn't seem like it. And now we have the, uh, we need the wire cutter. Or laser cutter, sorry. All right, scan. I really wish you had more inventory space. Like tool space, I, I just don't see why we're so limited. It doesn't really add much to the game, in my opinion. Those big robot suits in that important room sure look scannable. Um, thank you for the subtle hint. I appreciate that. Let me just pull out my scanning tool. Picking up a faint black box signature originating on the other side of the hull bridge in this room. Okay. I assume that's all I need to do. Um, I don't know what my favorite salad dressing is. I do like a good olive oil. Just a very basic, um, dressing. Olive oil vinegar kind of thing. Scans of damage to the Aurora do not match any known offensive technologies. 
Excuse me? What are you? Yeah, there is, uh, there do be a lot of stuff in here. Nutrition block! Oh, how nice of the game to supply me with some food. More nutrition block. I didn't need to take food at all. Doesn't seem to be anything in here. Kevbo raises a good pro uh, point. Um, yeah, what what is in the salad? Because if it if there's any kind of meat, then the, the entire ball game changes. Another day of being glad that I'm not using Twitter, huh? But how will you know when uh, Bimple streams? Bimple announces all of his streams on Twitter. VR suite log. Let's have a look at that real quick. Player one has been washed away by using by an unusually high tide. Spawning players on beach died of from cold and starvation. Okay. Uh, is this something I can scan? Nope. Sea moth fragment. Oh, we don't need that. We have a sea moth. Is this a door I can open? Doesn't look like it. I didn't realize that it lets you know when you can scan something when you hover over it. You don't have to pull out your scanner to, to test that every time. Kevbo is in like, he's figuring this out now? Yeah. Um, Bimple is not the sharpest pencil in the tool shed. Now, remember, only Bimple can say that. Okay. If you're gonna do a job, do it properly. Meaty salads equals heavier dressing like ranch or Caesar or even blue cheese. I do like a blue cheese dressing, but I, I don't have it very often. Cyclops engine efficiency module. Um, was there, was, there was one of those in the previous room, right? Was I not able to also collect that? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> that's a depth module. Okay, that's going to be important, huh? Okay. Um, are we repairing this? We're not, right? That's there's no way. We can repair this. Is there a reason to do that? An important room, okay. Ow! Ow! How do I get rid of this? How do I get rid of it? <gasps> Float away, my wayward son. Oh. This game does not like my short car keys. Okay, we're going to use that, and I'm going to pull out my knife. And I don't like those things. Containment breach 
Gonna run out of battery on that thing. Knife on bitey fish. Also, that gravity gun could teach him a lesson. Gotcha. I'll keep the knife on me for now because I'm doing this. Bitch. Get out of here. Repairing the Chernobyl reactor. Hey, I see you. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> drops, drops water in water, thinks it's a leech, freaks out. Your salads taste better with those specifics or is it your preference? Eh, I mean, it's always a preference. Uh, how do y'all feel about egg and salad? Not an egg salad, like you boil an egg and then put some slices in an egg, in, in, a, in a salad. In an egg, yeah, in an egg. Hey! Get out of here, buddy. I've never seen a chicken Caesar salad with olive oil as the dressing. It's true. Extinction event avoided. I want to see if there's something in that other thing. No. Nothing. <sighs> okay. Egg in salad is only good with a meaty salad and a heavier sauce. Chicken, egg, and... We'll see. Now, I might... I might disagree a little bit, because I think that an egg is a perfect garnish for a salad. And is uh, appropriate in uh, some salads, and I think any leafy salad. Not like a Greek salad. Like if you if you just have like cucumber and tomato and stuff like that, you know, egg is not going to improve that one. So are, are we done in here? There's nothing else to do in here, right? I was I actually was in Chernobyl once. Jesus. I know it's a popular-ish, uh, like, kind of niche vacation zone. People like to check out Chernobyl, but you could not pay me to go there. I don't care how, like, certified safe that place is. Now, that, there's just no, there's nothing. No. It's pretty safe until the reactor blew up and I had to leave. <laughs> How old is Imatan? Um, can I do anything here? Oh yeah, I can. pretty funny to me that like we're in some kind of you know i know that it's not melting down anymore but semi melting down spaceship and somehow that feels safer than being underwater with whatever critters are down there transgov profile altera corp we got some more nutrition block yummy i do love me uh, some Government certified nutrition block. I'm gonna need another fire extinguisher.
there anything over here? Doesn't look like it. Anything cool over here? Hey, look at that. A nutrition block. I have a nice science suit to protect against the radiation. There is no suit defending against the reaper swallowing you in one bite. It's true. Uh... My suit for the Reapers are basically my my Seamoth. I know I can probably just push this stuff aside, but I don't feel like it, okay? Can't make me. Also, damn, I'm going to get super lost on the way back for sure. Propulsion cannon fragment. We already have that. That looks like the outside over there. Man, I don't have much fire extinguisher left. They better not screw me here. I guess I could always run through the fire. Integrating new PDA data. Find it hilarious that the devs put a propulsion cannon fragment in a place you can only access by having the propulsion cannon. Um, well, okay. Just, just to play devil's advocate for a moment. I think it's more like, well, this is the place where there would be, there there would likely be a propulsion cannon. So rather than like put in a propulsion cannon that you can't scan, they figured, well, we'll just put in a propulsion cannon that you can scan, and that way the player gets some extra um, titanium, right? If they want it, which I don't. Oh, cool. We got another fire extinguisher. Get out of here, buddy. I got something for you. Check this one out. Wait. Check. check. Where'd you go? Check this one out. Goodbye. Get absolutely destroyed. I'm back to the sea, pony boy. Um, question, can I just like jump down from here? Pretty sure my Seamoth is just below me, right? Oh, there's some stuff there. Hold on. We're not quite done. Battery. Yay. Is there more? There is still more. I can't believe it. It's still going. Can jump down from here if you're done exploring the crew quarters. I don't know if I am done exploring the crew quarters. Yo. Come here, crab lad. Get wrecked. Oh, yeah? You love the posters you can get from the Aurora? 
I wasn't aware that there were posters that you could, like, collect. I do have some water. I swear to God, really? Yo, there's too many crabs. There's like a crab lad right in front of me, but he's like glitched through the floor. I am running out of power on this thing. More batteries. Appreciate that. Has slightly subtle but very hilarious dystopian anti-capitalist corporate vibes if you pay attention. I don't know if they're that subtle. <laughs> Unless you're being funny. There's one trapped under the floor here. Bimple has a crab infestation. Ha ha ha. It is the funny. <laughs> it's a very good joke. Um, is there anything more I can do here? I'm, I'm honestly worried about getting stuck on some geometry and then lost to the world forever. They're coming back, I swear to God. There's a lot more. Oh my God, really? Well, where am I going? Was that like an alternative entrance? I left my Seamoth light on. Aboard, oh, I see. This wasn't an alternative entrance. This is the entrance that I actually used. Let me let me help you out there, crab friend. Put you back where you belong. You really haven't really explored the crew quarters yet, but I think technically you have all the important stuff. Well, let me let me do the crew quarters then. Pretty sure it's uh, more accessible from this direction. There's a cat poster somewhere? Okay, so, um, oh, these are the living quarters. I did get the prawn, yes. Okay, so I, I see there's maybe, it is accessible, but I have to go this way. <gasps> Ooh, a power cell, that's a really nice give. 
I really appreciate that game. If I scan that, is it just going to give me titanium? Ooh, there's a mod here. Hold on. This, uh, you know, uh, not to criticize this game, because I know it is good, but it's it's a little bit weird to me, because it, it, it feels like, you know, the kind of game made to be explorable, but it's really not clear what is explorable, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't really communicate to the player in many or any way, like, where you can go. Everything, like, it, it kind of feels like one of your kind of um, standard... FPS games with you know sandbox exploration, but like everywhere you go in any other game This zone here would feel like a like just a no-no zone like just don't go here but You know here we are we're we're meant to go here. There's stuff to find. Oh I have no fuel in that. Um, we're gonna drop that You scan the suit itself. Yeah, I can't remember if there are other prawn stuff in the room. Pretty sure I'll only get titanium if I scan those. Yo, can we get a vending machine? Is that scannable? We can scan these tables, apparently. Question, if I um, replace the... It doesn't really matter, but if I replace the, the Pathfinder tool, will it automatically destroy all of my... My little zones, my little uh, nodes. Single wall shelf. Yo. <laughs> Biggest weakness is that it's a wide open sandbox exploration zone, but there's a huge amount of stuff that is awkwardly placed, repeated, way more structured. I've heard that the vehicles are not as good in sub uh, below zero. Is my only thing so here's the cat poster inventory full unfortunately but i will make i will make concessions for a cat poster especially if uh if it's uh mimesis approved this is locked can we get through here no oh, okay nope can't get through there show me this the chair i found it what do we got in here? I do really appreciate that the this this place is um it's atmospheric. It's not uh, really scary. There's nothing there's no like baddie to watch out for. They could have so easily gone very horror with the Aurora. Um I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these first aid kits. I guess I don't need to pick up any of this. Actually the the water would probably be better, huh? more water more water still just gonna go ahead and fill up um i'll drop one of these fire extinguishers it might be important but you know the vehicles are very good in below zero they're just different and some nautica fanboys like all mindless fanboys hate change well but you know to be fair Kempo. I don't necessarily follow Subnautica fanboys. I heard complaining about the vehicles from people who had never played Subnautica. Mostly that they're just kind of janky because they were more ambitious. I know the land vehicle is good. I think mostly it's just the bus that people didn't like. Some of the like multi-part vehicles were maybe a little bit uh a little bit ambitious for not much a mechanical benefit oh yes we want to scan a bed and you might not need the cured fish with all the nutrition blocks
I'm not saying the game is bad by any means. I am. Uh, I, I can't because I haven't played it. But th that's what I've heard. Um, I do plan on maybe playing it. I say maybe. I, I honestly didn't even know if I was going to play this one, to be honest. Um, but we're 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 getting through it. You know what? Let's drop the first aid kit. We don't need that. I'll definitely want another battery. It's more water. More water, still. I never heard, had heard a problem with the sea trick. Maybe some console peasants. Why, again, I mean, like, this is what gets you into trouble, Kebo, is that some of the offhand comments kind of assumes a lot of, of people. Because, you know, I, I don't follow console peasants. Not to, um, you know, say that anyone who plays on console exclusively is in any way lesser. They're not. It's fine. But, you know, I, I mostly follow PC um, players, mostly because they are more likely to, uh, you know, play games that I am going to be interested in. We have another battery. I don't know what's the point. What is the point of these storages that have nothing in them? That's bizarre. We have more water. We have another PDA. We have uh, another battery. Really kind of want to carry these or pick up these batteries. So let's drop the cured fish. Let's consume a cured fish and drop the other one. Are like one to one. The sea trick with its modules is clunky, but so is the cyclops, which is what it replaces. Says, I guess that's fair. I mean, like it's not like this game doesn't have jank in it. It does, hundred percent have have jank in it. So you know, I think that that is fair. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm not saying you're wrong for liking below zero at all. I, I just like to um, kind of level out a little bit of the vitriol, if if you don't mind. Um, it's kind of like a compressor. Now, do I have the code for this? Do I have the code for this? I must. Notes to self, cargo bay do code 1454. No, no, not that. Sweet offer, 1869. There you go. Blue cap. Aw, I want the blue cap. What is the point of putting these bags in when they don't have anything in them? I just get tired of some Nautica fanboys. I, I, I feel like... Honestly, Kevbo, you're you're fine. I think rather than leveling out your vitriol, try try to ignore people who say things that are like blatantly ignorant. Cause it, it's it's really not a big deal. People say stupid stuff all the time. So a man just the other day implied that a check mark on Twitter was worth eight dollars a month. The absolute madman. <laughs> So, you know, don't, don't worry. Um, and people, at, at the end of the day, even if Subnautica 1 is objectively a worse game than Below Zero, and I'm not saying you're saying that, uh, is, uh, it, it's, it, it's fine if someone likes it more. You know, they can be wrong. That's all right. Just don't say that. <laughs> 1454. What? So, okay, Captain's Quarters. Uh, 1806? There's no zero. <laughs> Alright. Do I just want to try 1869 again? No. No. Did you just call me fat? 
It's called being a bigger person. I mean, I, I think there's a time and place for bigger person as well. I, I also think that at a certain point, it's, you know, it is worthwhile calling stuff out. But, like, call it out when it happens. You know? I am, I'm, I'm, I'm... Not to, not that Kevbo's giving me a hard time, but just to, just for the record, I am only relaying what I've heard from people whose opinion I generally trust. And I'm not relaying it as a point of criticism or contention. I'm really just saying, this is what I've heard. Is it true? And I'll just take your word for it if it's not true. If you say, well, actually the truck is fine. You just gotta like work through a couple of the quirks much like some of the quirks in Subnautica 1, I will say, hey, that's that's totally reasonable. I can understand why someone struggling with the truck might have given them a, uh, maybe a bad um, first impression of the game, but actually it's totally fine. Um, can I get in here? Or is this something for na later on? People can be wrong on the internet, apparently. You, you did say that all of the codes are available on the ship. So I got to find it. If it's on the ship, it's got to be somewhere. Can't stand fanboys. I mean, I, I know where you're coming from, Kevbo, because I, I do think that blind love for anything can, can be a little bit annoying. It can put people off for sure. I just don't want to be find myself, um, for instance, on the other end where you can be uh, blind hate, you know? I like to level these things out. Um, I need to find that code, huh? Captain's quarters code is 2679. Uh, I appreciate that. I assume it was somewhere in this, in the Aurora and I just missed it. Twenty six seventy nine. I don't even expect to find anything really cool in here. Oh my god, there's an Aurora miniature. Never mind. Heck yeah, bud. We're we're restarting our Warhammer fan club in this dystopian future. We have a poster and a miniature, and I kind of want to carry one of them. Alright, drink some water. We don't need we, we don't need water. That's fine. That's most people, though. Well, I, like, I was just talking about the things I don't like about Subnautica 1. Doesn't stop me from necessarily enjoying it. I will say, though, me dying because I accidentally dumped my oxygen tank instead of using it was very frustrating. <laughs> I know that was my bad, but damn. <laughs> Damn, if it wasn't just just as frustrating. Okay. All right. I, I have to take some of these posters. Can I... I can't get in there, I assume. There's another poster, but... Oh, that's natural selection, too. Oh, that's such a good... Damn it. Damn it. I want that poster. We don't need food. It's fine. We don't need food. Ever do that with anything I enjoy, no matter how much I love it? Accepting something's flaws because you like it is one thing. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. Like, for, speaking from my own experience, I can be really off-put by a game for very simple UI problems. It's uh, one of the reasons I've talked a lot about, um, like, m quality of life mods are my favorite mods. Because half the time I stop playing a game, it's because of UI stuff. So, 
you know, with that in mind, that in mind, oh my god, another battery. I can't do it. There's too much good stuff in here. I'm not coming back. Or I think we're done now, by the way. Um, I can make batteries. They're cheap, but they're kind of a pain to make. So I'd rather just like, uh, I'd rather just like find them, carry them. It's it's a, just a lot more feasible. Um, where where am I going here? So like you know, uh, why do I bring this up? Well, like you know, if I find myself in a situation where I'm like I don't like a game because it had really clunky UI, like for example, uh, Neverwinter Nights, then you know, uh, it would be frustrating to find myself on the receiving end of well you didn't like it because you're a console peasant or something you know yeah you, you just don't you know you're you didn't get good that's classic right classic you didn't get good ah uh, shoot i didn't get good at the game well no i didn't get good at the game because i didn't play it enough because it prevented me from doing so i i th like here's the I'll empathize. I empathize with you, Kevbo, because I think that a lot of Dark Souls fanboys are really frustrating. I say that as a Dark Souls fan. I love Dark Souls 1, but man, has it not aged well. It is not a very good game. <laughs> Dark Souls 1 is not that great. It's like half of a very good game. And though it did establish a lot of really good stuff, I find it to, to be kind of unplayable now i really do even the remake and i was really kind of sickened by the remake because they didn't change or improve anything in fact they made it worse they didn't they didn't really improve how it looked they didn't really improve the any of the little quirks and problems of the game they didn't fix any of the second half of that game when they have had a perfect opportunity to do so man and the people who's well, Dark Souls one, the best Dark Souls. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. You are a hundred percent wrong. I'll accept Dark Souls two over Dark Souls one at this point. And I don't like Dark Souls two. I like it f fine, but it's also janky in its own ways. He said he sympathized with me after I said that. Neverwinter Nights doesn't have a clunky UI, Bimple. You have a clunky UI in your brain. Wow. 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 Can't believe you said this. Okay. Now I just have to get back without dying. Should be easy enough. Oh, look, it's our friend, the only fish that matters. Okay, he's swimming away. He's swimming away. We're swimming away. We're, we're good. You're good. We're all good. We're all cool. Don't worry about it. DS2 is it better than DS1. Well, I mean, here's the thing about DS2. I don't think it's a very good game either for different reasons, but at least it's consistently like the same level of quality from the beginning and to the end you know like there's a lot of jank in that game but it, there's a lot of stuff in dark souls 2 and a lot of it is you know it's it's pretty palatable you know it's palatable if you know how to navigate dark souls 2 then it um then it, it's pretty consistent dark souls 1 is not consistent it's like half of a very good game and then half of a very unfinished mess and you know uh enjoy i suppose people priding themselves on overcoming bad design choices is kind of weird i'm uh guys I didn't I didn't talk about this yesterday. I didn't mention this, but December 6th. December 6th. <laughs> Can we talk about December 6th? What happens December 6th? Bimple. 
Uh, excuse me? Yo. We're talking the mother of all bad UI. The absolute cream o' de crop comes out December 6th. Dwarf freaking fortress. I can't believe it's, it's finally happened. Uh, do I already have this? Yeah. What what is that? December 6th. What happens on December 6th? Yo, I cannot wait for for Door Fortress and I could not be more excited for a uh, Door Fortress that I can possibly learn how to play and and not have to navigate one of the most like objectively clunky interfaces of all time like i i think everyone kind of knows that right it, it does have a clunky interface are, are we in agreement on that one but you know the creators they're like yeah yeah we know it's in there they they uh they fixed it i say they fixed it but they've made it more accessible and i'm very excited for a more accessible door fortress i cannot wait to be very bad at that game I am looking forward to it. Ever since the car poor psycho murderers. Cascuse. Hope it goes better than water boiling zombie game. Are you talking about um Are you talking Project Zomboid or are you talking CDDA? Oh, you're talking zombie. Uh, you're, you're talking CDDA because of specifically my experience of it. All right. Well, look. Let's look at all the fun stuff we got. We got a cool Aurora miniature. Sign quick slot switch container. Uh, I'm gonna dump the stuff in there for now. A small storage locker, so we can put this in the sea moth. Yes. And we can put this in the sea moth. Should I have been? Should I have done that, or do I have to? In, buy? Do I have to? Uh, um, build the the module maker. Psycho killer, qu'est-ce we're crazy strong and could grapple dwarves into the water and drown them. I don't remember because I didn't play it at the time, but I do remember the memes, yes. You can put the posters on the wall. I can do that. I should do that, shouldn't I? When you can do a lot of things in games, they easily get messy like that. Yeah, it's very difficult to build an interface that works when you're, like, having, uh, like, inter like overlapping layering mechanics like boiling water to you know de-disease it and then like having different limbs that can be stabbed i don't know it's, it's, it's a lot i i have you know I, I have a lot of mercy for bad for well, i say bad for like for for games with a lot of complexity with a bad interface because it's like yeah i mean not easy not an easy job to uh fix that all right, let's um, put this up. I don't want to put it on walls that I might turn use in the future, so we're going to put it up on these, on this wall here. There you go. Oh, beautiful. Love it. Love that poster. Okay, and I'm going to do... Uh, I don't like this, the prawn poster as much. I probably would didn't should not have kept that, but... What the... Here. Okay. I remember only shenanigans with cats that destroyed your fortress. Cats, uh, I recall, are very good because they uh, will hunt vermin for free. This is my, this is my poster wall. Ah. I wanted to overlap. I didn't want them to 
clipped together like that. That's silly. <clears throat> We're gonna put the cat poster near the plants because I think that's I think that's what mimeses would do. Mimeses would do that. Have the little plant corner. That looks nice. I want to make a shelf. Hold on. Habitat builder. I guess I didn't have to bring the habitat builder with me. Huh. That was silly. Ba 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 ba. Psycho killer. Guess who's day? Ba 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 ba. Run 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 away. Um. Can we do a single shelf or wall shelves? What do we what do we think, chat? I don't like how big the the yo wall planter. I want a wall planter. All right. Okay, I want to put it there. There we go. Wait, do I have to replant that? Oh no. Oh no, I accidentally took out our marble melon. Damn it. So, is this harvestable? Ah, there you go. Now I can eat that. Consume! Well, I don't want to consume it right now, actually. I will, because I grabbed it, but... Okay, I need some titanium. Cats are good now, ever since the toady one f fixed cat explosions where your cats could breed so insanely fast they would tank a PC that could play Crisis on Ultra settings. Damn. There's our shelf. Uh, where is our thing? Stop asking me to name it. Damn it. Where where's our Aurora? Where's our Aurora? Oh here it is. Run 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 run. I'm still pressing escape. How do we rotate it? Oh that's that's awful. How do I, it's not letting me I don't want to uh, do that. How do I rotate it? It won't let me rotate it without switching weapons. Rotate. Right bracket. There we go. Oh my god, it still switches weapons! <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> this is bad interface, you see? You see everyone? Do you understand my, my pain? There. There! Name a locker after Kevbo. There you go. There. That looks beautiful. I like that. It's a little, our little pleasant corner right there. Can we have, like, these rooms back to back? Or do they need a tunnel, like a, a, a do they need to have a thing connecting them? Let me see here. Base piece. Can we have a multi-purpose room, like, right here? Let me just check to see where I, I just put that. Okay, that's not awful. I mean, it looks really bad, but that's fine. I have a... well, it's because I ran out of titanium and I didn't feel like going and collecting some. Observatory? That would be kind of nice, actually. I should probably make a moon pool. Uh, so, 
what do I need to be able to install mods onto a vehicle? Do I need the moon pool for that? Radio, locker. Oh, here we go. Modification station. For modification of survival equipment. I'm assuming I'm going to need this. I think I have everything I need to make it. Uh, I still need to... F wow. In the entire Aurora, there was no battery charger. Did I miss this? Oh, I have just barely not enough titanium to finish this room. I actually kind of want to get rid of this tunnel. Can I put a tunnel... Uh, can I put a hatch on a... Um, on something like this? Hatch. Uh, I guess I can, but it just it's just gonna make another little thing. Can I deconstruct this? Do you get your stuff back if you deconstruct stuff? It looks like you do, but uh, my inventory is full. I now have enough to make the thing. Okay, let me make the thing. Requires six titanium. I thought it required four, so that's my bad. Battery charger is sadly only found amongst wrecks on the seafloor and around a specific life pod. Yo, yo, stop it. <laughs> there we go. Power restored. All primary systems online. No, I didn't want to do that. Store all of those gosh darn batteries. Good idea. Do I did I gain any titanium from that? I did slightly. Okay, this is almost we're almost done on that. And actually, let me grab one of these. Throw that in there. Uh, okay, where can I put the batteries? In here. So I just need like one more titanium. Save before base building maybe. Oh, okay. Does something bad happen if you don't? The battery charger is yeah, found amongst wrecks on the seafloor. Had a glitch where a green blueprint wouldn't go away and prevented expansion in that direction. Oh no, that sounds awful. Oh wait a minute, wait a minute. I'll get a titanium from this thing. This is why I'm why I'm emptying it out is because I want to deconstruct it. Oh, can you not? Okay. Never mind then. So, uh, I need to get some titanium. So we're gonna do a quick run for some titanium. Uh, 
Actually, are we heading towards the Aurora right now? We Yes, we are. Okay, good. Um, there's a ton of titanium that I did not claim that is just kind of hanging out on the shore. Including, like, right here. So let's just grab this stuff. Oh! Oh god! Oh god! Ow! Oh jeez. Do you have titanium in the life pod? Oh, you know what? You're probably right. I probably do have. Well, I'm already here. So let's let's just do this real quick. <laughs> it's never not funny. It's never not funny. laughing at the just like a me running into fish at high speed okay inventory full okay we're good we this is this will be a ton of uh, titanium yo is that me seeing my unfinished um hab station right there from like 500 meters away because it's un it's, it's unfinished and it's clipping through the world Oh, that's really good, yo. That's actually really good. Look at that. <laughs> oh, we have a message. There we go. Looking pretty good. There you go. Second room. Um, I kind of want to get some stuff started, um, like making this the actual place I do stuff. It's probably a waste, but I do want to make a, um, what do you call it? Fabricator? Oh, that takes gold? Oh, that's not, that's not honestly a huge ask. I have tons of gold. I need some table coral. Not a huge ask either. Uh, I need water. Is it gold? Okay, let's um get our knife and I'm gonna go get some table coral real quick. I know I'm I'm dying of thirst. Well, I'll get some uh what you call it? Some bladders. I love how many potatoes Bimple has instead of mar marble melons. Are marble melons just better? Wait. You can make a fabricator and radio so you never need to go to the life pot again. Yeah, that's what I want. I want to let's do that. 
That sounds good. I don't want to put the fabricator like here. Also, when did I put a locker there? Yo, there's titanium in here. God damn it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you're not supposed to show what a dummy I am. God damn. All right. Fabricator. Marble melons are the most H2O restoring indoor growing plant. H2O is way harder to fill in classic of Sonatica than food. All right, well then let's replace the potato plants. Easy enough to do, right? Didn't mean to do that. But this is this is bobo tree, bobo trees. Yeah, yeah. How do I claim the marble melon without destroying the marble melon? Like, is this one... How do I know when I can grab it? You can build multi-purpose rooms on top of multi-purpose rooms? What, how would that benefit? Oh, I guess like then I have a ladder in the middle of the room. Uh, I like this more, I think, maybe. I don't know. Okay, we have a, we have a fabricator now. So let's make some oxygen or um, H2O, filtered water. One of each plant time except marble melons. Okay. So, uh, let's get rid of one of these potato plants then. Uh, can I get, can I get rid of it? I guess they, do they have like a certain amount? Do they have a certain amount of yield before they go? Okay, there we go. I know I wasted a lot of food there. Keep one potato plant, but yeah, otherwise marble melons. Well, I have two right now, so I'm sorry. I know this is a waste of food, but it really doesn't matter to me too much. And it is giving me a monicum of, of water by doing. Also, if I get rid of the potato plant here, I'll be able to see the poster, and that that'll make that'll make Mimesis happy. <laughs> room inside a room, a door behind a door. So if I this melon looks big, does that mean it's like ready to go? It seems to me that it was not ready to go. No! I didn't mean to eat it. Yeah, you know, not to disagree with you, Kevbo, but I'm having a lot of trouble with the uh, marble melons, and I don't think I can be trusted with them. I want to make curry so bad, but I so don't want to make curry so bad because it's curry, and making it is pain. You, you can't really waste it as long as you have at least one of each vegetable to replant. But yeah, marble melons and bubble trees. Um, well, the bubble tree is the most, like, obstructive plant. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Oop. Oop. Boop. I think you cut marble melons. Why does it let me pick it up then? Doesn't it know I'm an idiot? Doesn't it know I'm gonna press the wrong stupid button every time that's gonna ruin my marble melon? Why doesn't- why don't they know that? Goddamn. Okay, let's try cut- 
I'm not gonna cut that marble melon until it's bigger. I, I don't trust myself. I really don't. Like, I can pick up this Chinese, the Chinese potato. That, it lets me do that. No canned food where you are. I love how this, there's another locker here. There's another locker here. I didn't see it because the bulbo plant covers it completely. <laughs> uh. All right, we're gonna grow some more bulbo plants. Because Bulbo is good. I like the Bulbo. Picking up Marble Melon equals edible fruit. Stabbing water with knife, water, Marble Melon seeds. Okay. So, explain to me, Kevbo. Alright, 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 alright. Okay, I, I got it, I got it. See... The thing that's annoying to me is if you pick up the marble melon, then you get, you only get the one marble melon and then the plant has to be replanted. So you gotta keep multiple seed, multiple planters going with marble melon seeds. Um, because if you're gonna harvest one of them, you have to replant from another one. Am I, am I right about that? I can't believe how, like, complex this planting mechanic is. Okay, we're gonna get some more Bulbo. I, I like the, the Bulbo. The Bulbo is good. The Bulbo is also less complicated, so it, less things for me to mess up. One marble melon plant equals one edible fruit or four plantable seeds, depending on picking or knifing. Yeah, okay. I understand. Can I have four marble melons in one planter? You can buy Thai curry. All right. So what I want to do is I want to build the mod station. <clears throat> we could also do the radio. I want to do the radio, but uh, we want to do the modification station. So the only thing I need to worry about is the computer chip. What is the computer chip require? Always forget this. Neptune launch platform, excuse me? From which to launch the Neptune? What is the Neptune? Uh, excuse me? I thought I got the prawn suit. There's... What? What? Why is the prawn suit not known to me? I thought I researched the prawn suit. Need to find out the prawn suit grappling arm. Am I have to, gonna have to go back to the Aurora? I don't think I'm ever gonna make the Cyclops, guys. I don't think I really wanna make the Cyclops. You didn't scan the rest of the prawn suit pieces. Guess I'm going back to the Aurora. I have one of two battery chargers, apparently. I thought, listen, this is not entirely on me. I, I when I scanned the prawn suit, I thought it said a blue, blueprint unlocked. Like it came up with a thing that says, you, you know, blueprint progression made. So, um, you know, I, I thought that I was good, but apparently I was not good. Where is the computer chip? There it is. Yo, gold and copper wire. The copper wire is actually the worst part about that. We have tons of gold. What we don't have tons of is copper. Uh, do we have any copper, in fact? I have one copper in here. I think I have some more copper in the other one. The huge suits in the Aurora each give five study points. Shit. Bimple. Bimple. 
All right. Well, this is what happens. This is what happens when you take a stranger to the Alps. I need more copper. Bimple needs more copper. Bimple needs more water as well. Well, there's tons of water at the Aurora, so I'm just gonna go. I won't lie. This is a bummer. This one is a bummer. All right, stranger to the Alps. Oh my God, Bimple just referenced the weirdest censoring of Pig Lebowski ever. Yo, I'm just saying, Kev Boas, my, my donations are always you know open and welcoming to uh, caustic and, and toxic viewers. <laughs> That's not true. Take a stranger to the Alps is my favorite censor. This is what happens, Donnie. Actually, it's not Donnie, is it? It's, uh... It's the lad. I can't remember what his name is. Anyone a fan of the, the little, little niche hit classic? The Big Lebowski? It's my favorite hidden gem movie. Smacking the fish at that exact moment was truly art. <laughs> oh no, I just... I just killed the only Big Lebowski fan in the, in the ocean. Damn it. Aww. Uh, now I have no friends in the ocean. His name is Walter. Walter. I'm not... I'm not getting in the sea moth with you, Walter. Put the repulsion cannon away, Walter. I'm getting better at that, damn. It's almost good now. Hello, friend. You're a friend over there, and not here. Mike, Mike Ermintrout is legitimately one of my favorite characters of all time. It doesn't get much better than Mike. Oh, thank you. What? Oh, is that a crab that I ejected into space? I don't think it is. Walter. I'm not going to space with you, Walter. Put, put the gravity gun away, Walter. This is not happening. Is that a reference to where's the baby scene? It took me way too long. What? 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 Where's the baby scene? Uh, no. What? <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. Neville. Ouch!
I'm I'm trying to muster the courage to do a, an actual Walter White imp, uh, impression, but I don't think it's gonna happen, guys. I'm sorry. It's he's too specific. Actually, he's not specific enough. I think that's the problem. He's uh, Walter. He's he's a bit uh, too normal in a way. All right, here we are, back again at the Krispy Kreme. Here we go. Didn't didn't scan the suit. I I tried to scan that suit and it didn't let me, so I thought I was done. But I guess that's not how it works, is it? Walter, I'm not scanning the uh, prawn suit with you, Walter. Put your scanner away. This is, oh, look, hey, listen, Walter, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna go to the Aurora. You're gonna scan a salt. A, <laughs> salt. You're gonna scan a prawn suit. You're gonna scan three other prawn suits. Then you're gonna make, what's it called? Walter, you're dehydrated, Walter. Drink something, for God's sake. I thought there was water in here. Water. <laughs> water. I'm not drinking you water. Put Put the bottle away, water. It's not, it's not good. It's not getting any better, honestly. <sighs> Love that all Bumpus Griffiths are just Rick. Hey, this is different from Rick. Rick, Rick is way more gravelly. I have a blue cap. Do I want that? Probably not. Marty! Arcade Gorge toy. Sure. Apparently, I missed that the first time through here. Morty, Morty, we got, we, we got, we got to cook meth, Morty. Oh God, this bit again, really? <laughs> We're doing this again? Yeah, Morty, it, it, it's never gonna get old. It, it's, it's really good. It, it's capitalizing on Oliver, Oliver. <laughs> All of our re recent pro uh, pop culture, Morty. We gotta, we gotta do it. Get the, get the big dollars. Get that seven dollars, Morty. What? Oh, oh God! Please, it's it's old and tired. I don't want to do it anymore. Please, Morty. We gotta get the cured boomerang, Morty. Where, where am I even going, Morty? I don't know. You're trying to, you trying, to, you're trying to scan the prawn suit, Rick. Rick, Rick, scan the prawn suit for God's sake. I can't do it, Morty. I, I, I need you to. I need you to take the, put this prawn suit in, entirely up your ass. No, <laughs> I don't think it's gonna. No, Rick, I don't think it's gonna fit. You gotta do it, Morty. We need to scan it, but I can't scan it here. We need to, we need to smuggle it. No. <laughs> oh. And the award for worst bit of all time goes to Le Bimple Fanny. Fanny prawn suit jokes. I love the bimple jokes with the prawn suit. Marty, where's the prawn suit? Marty, you gotta put it up your ass. A couple of animations Justin Roiland has done with Joel Haver are hilarious. Uh, agree to disagree. Where's the other prawn suit, Marty? I'm tired of you. Oh, you know what, Marty? I think we gotta put out the fire on that other one, maybe, and then we can scan it. What do, you, what do you think about that? Do you think that'll work? Marty. Oh, do I still have to put it on my ass? Oh, uh, well, let me think on that.
I don't watch Rick and Morty, but I think you do. Eh, I mean, it's not hard to do a Rick and Morty impression. Morty! <laughs> uh, Alright, here we go. This is what we gotta do, Morty. We gotta put the fire out. That's what we had to do. And then we can scan it. Alright, Morty. Please. Wonder if I can scan that one as well. Oh, I only have 16 left on this thing, so I gotta be a little bit picky choosy. Okay. There we go. What? There we go. Blueprint synthesized, prawn suit. Do I have it now? Chat, do I have it? Do I have the prawn suit? M Marty? Marty, where is the prawn suit? There it is. I did it. All right. He's done it. He actually did it. Good job. Marty. <laughs> okay, we can, uh, we can drop this now. <clears throat> drop that. Is this one empty? No, nope, 74. All right, we can we can pick that up. I do love Sand Planet. What's the Sand Planet? Is this a Rick and Morty episode that I haven't seen yet? Does it star Naruto? My favorite character, Naruto. I swear to God, Naruto is exclusively going to prevent me from watching that show ever again. I'm, I'm not kidding. Every time I think about watching Rick and Morty again, I think about Naruto. The funniest joke ever. Ever, ever on television. Man. Sand Planet is not a Rick and Morty episode because it's actually funny. Oh, fair enough. Or is that the Justin Roiland animation? Um, is there anything else in here that I missed? I keep trying to crouch jump in this game. This game makes me want to crouch jump. Ouch. Naruto the incest baby? Yes, Naruto the incest baby. I love that baby. My favorite baby. Also, I just really need to change that. You know what? Can we get rid of that button? Please? No? No, we can't. Can't get rid of the button. Uh huh. Cool. Give feedback. I would like to get rid of the give feedback button. That is my feedback. Please allow me to change the give feedback button so that it, it does not exist for me anymore. Appreciate you, bud. Love ya. Love you, miss ya. Please, you know. Please? Okay. We missed resources like nutrient blocks, disinfected water, and some poster tchotchkes, but nothing else important. Okay. But well, we have the prawn suit. Guys, we have... A miracle. We just witnessed a miracle. Um, at least, you know, we... Um, we have the prawn suit. Okay. Uh, I might wait a little bit before moving, maybe. Because it's dark and I, I'm not going to have a good... I'm not going to have good sight on our friend, the man that we have managed to avoid, you know, several times. Ugh. Thank you. 
so what do we need? We, we need copper, right? I need copper. Oh, this is how we get the, uh, some of the big mining resources, right? What is the grappling arm good for? And how do I get that? I'm assuming I'm going to need all of that. Where is the modification? Modification station. So we only have ultra glide fins. Repulsion cannon applies force to entities in range. Lightweight, high capacity tank. Requires plus plasteel ingot. I'm assuming that's not for a while. We can make a thermo blade. Yummy tea. Nice. I have some yummy coffee right now, and I'm enjoying that. Oh, hello, friend. I feel like after you've repaired the reactor, it shouldn't rumble like that anymore. There's a bunch of titanium here. Do I want to stop for this? Not really. I really need copper. That's what I need. I guess I could use some salt. To make some uh, bleach, whatever. Oh, that could be copper. I really need to stop pressing the wrong button every single time. Once in a while, that's fine. But every time is a bit much. Oh, lead. Well, it's not, not really what we want. Grab the salt. Did you ever install the depth module in your CMOF? Well, I actually asked how to do that specifically and I didn't get response on that. Hence why I'm trying to find copper to make the modification station. Yo. <laughs> I, uh, <clears throat> I tried looking around the CMOF to, to install it and I don't know how to do that. Oh, at huh. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, he, he figured it out. Yeah. All by himself. Good for him. Good for Bimple. Bimple figured it out. I love that for him. Love that for Bimple. Hope that he figures out more things on his own. D d yes. Good. Good job, Bimple. Thank you. Uh, this is going to be, well, I don't really have a lot of inventory space. Oh, that, uh, those blocks are very good. I should not waste those. Ugh, gold. Love how every time I find gold, I'm like, eh. Honestly, titanium is better in some ways. Is a better find. Is that a hatch? That is a hatch. Do I have any more inventory space? I do not. Okay. Alright, let's go home. Using his basic senses. Well, I mean, to be fair... I, I kind of wish the game would, like... In any way inform you about how to install... I'm sure it does in text, but that's not really what I want. I'm not saying don't put the modification panel or upgrade panel on the outside of the vehicle. I'm saying also make it accessible inside the vehicle with like some kind of indication. Listen, I'm just saying maybe it's not very user friendly. Is this something good? Bioreactor 
fragment. I feel like I already have that. Yes. Probably haven't collected that for the same reason that I'm not collecting it now, which is that I have no inventory space. Copper only drops from limestone outcroppings. Sandstone gives different drops than limestone. Yeah, that makes sense. Did we find this before? I don't think we did. Flares. I could repair the thing. I don't know why I would want to do that. Yo, solid. Yo, get out of here, buddy. Get out of here, buddy. Ow. Right, so now I should be able to access some kind of inventory somewhere. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, actually, extremely useful. bottom middle you can see the upgrades you have installed but how do i access that i'm not I, i'm really not trying to be um like pedantic or like uh, intentionally obtuse about this i how do i how do i access like how do i can i can i just chunk in okay, okay. I know it's showing me those upgrades. Honestly, uh, not very useful right now. <gasps> I want to be able to install the upgrades. I just like look at them. Eh, listen. Bimple's being kind of a jerk right now. I understand that. Um, you know, I'm just trying to explain to you why I'm struggling. Are these things that I want? These little plant dudes, they look funky. All right, let's just bump into everything. Love that. All right, yeah. Detecting increased foreign bacteria levels in the water. Performing a self-scan is advised. All right, we got to perform a self-scan. Get out of here, buddy. All right, let's head back. You can't access them from inside. Yeah. Um, that plant is an asshole. Okay, thank you. I, I would have 100% just like walked right into it and, and like, oh, what's this poke? So I think I have enough copper to make the modification station. Not that it's super pressing, but it's not not pressing. That looks like a... No, it's a door. Very naive Bimple thinking he I found a wall planter. Just kind of hanging out near his base. Very naive, indeed. The only upgrades you can access from inside a vehicle are active upgrades, which you don't have yet. Gotcha. Okay. Did any of my plants grow? Look at all the plants that grew. Look at all of these plants that grew. Okay, we can we can eat a marble melon. Um, can someone say tell me is there can you plant four marble melons per planter? Cuz I noticed that it was able to like plant four seeds. I guess I can always, like, find out for myself, can't I? Hmm. 
Looks like I can, yeah. Definitely seems to me like that would be worth it. Nice. Very good. Um, we'll get some Bulbo. Yummy Bulbo. Delicious Bulbo. Uh, I don't need the Cyclops in my inventory basically ever. We have a Ruby. I forgot about that. Oh, it has been two hours. Should I switch to Prey soon? Four marble melons per planter, so a full planter gives three melons to eat and one to cut for four seeds to replant the planter. It's the most efficient. Okay. That, that is starting to make sense to me now. Bimple is learning. There you go. Cute. Um, okay, let's make the modification station. I should be able to do so. Oh, wait, most of my stuff is actually in the Seamoth. I pray you keep playing Subnautica. I'm enjoying Subnautica right now, just to be clear. Um, we've, we've done a, we've accomplished quite a bit. I say that, but you know, maybe we haven't, but, um, but I, I want to keep the ball rolling on, on all, both games. Eventually Prey will be completed and, and we will replace it with another game. Um, so I need to make a computer chip. Oh, that requires table coral. Okay. Let's go find some table coral in my copious inventory space. Copious and very well organized um, inventory space. Very, very well organized. Where is my table coral? I thought I had some. Oh, it's in the other other inventory space, isn't it? Beverage check. I got my favorite black tea. What kind of black tea you got? I'm drinking my... Uh, it's Starbucks coffee, but it is uh, homemade Starbucks coffee. It's just like Starbucks grounds. And it is microwaved. Yes, indeed. Bimple has not learned. Bimple will never not microwave his coffee, honestly. Actually, can I make it up here? Computer chip. Cool, 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 cool. Um... Okay, I need to make, I'm, I'm trying to make the modification station. I need a diamond. Okay, so I have everything else but the diamond. Black tea is best tea. What is considered black tea? Like is orange pico black tea or not? That's just like brown tea, right? Brown tea is not black tea. Is, uh, where, where do we stand on this? What are the hard definitions of black tea? Oh, now I make the modification station. I just make it. Mod uh, hab habitat builder. Let's make it. There, you, there we go. I think it looks good right there. Mimi, Jesus, it's African American tea. Jesus Christ. Really regret reading that one. Caught caught me off guard on that one, I'll I'll be honest. Um alright, so we can upgrade oh we don't have plus steel. Uh we could do ultra glide fins considerably by comparison to regular fins. Why don't we do that? I could. I don't think I have enough to make the uh, rep uh, repulsion cannon. Am I gonna? Is the repulsion cannon required? Orange pico is black.
Also, as I understand it, that is no longer correct or politically correct nomenclature anymore. So I know funny haha -ha joke, but it's actually not okay anymore. I believe uh, person of color is is correct or because like um, as people have pointed out many many times calling someone African American is actually wildly inappropriate because they might not be like, they might be just American like what you know, what I know we're we're getting political aren't we um should I have done that I just realized I probably shouldn't have done that does my knife now require power? I mean, it's it's a heated blade now. It's a side grade to the repulsion. No, I understand that, but is it required for anything, like, progression-related? Or is it just better? Like, example, the propulsion cannon is required to access the uh, Aurora. Is it required in any capacity like that? Depth module for the Cyclops. Not doing the Cyclops. Okay, let's do... Do I have fins, first of all? I do have fins. Let's make the fins. Uh, I do have lithium, and I believe I have two silicone rubber just kind of hanging out in the other inventory space. It's the way it's processed. Don't ask me for details. I don't get it. All right. I mean, I was going to ask you for details, but okay. Uh, oh, I don't have rubber. <sighs> All right. Inventory check. Gotta see if I got that rubber. If I don't, and, uh, I think I don't. I think I don't have any rubber. Oh, there it is. Silicon rubber. Nice. And I believe... What else do I need? Lithium. I know I have lithium somewhere. There it is. Tons of lithium. Oh, and... See, this is this is the thing that I think would be... You know, it would be better if it would just, like, do it. Ultra glide fins. Uh, knife is now just better. Your hot knife is a straight upgrade. It also auto cooks any fish you kill with it. That does, that actually sounds not good. What if I want to uh, cure said fish? Yummy coffee, homie. <laughs> Mimi sees your gift. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. <laughs> uh, don't. Uh, please do not take that as me uh i'm not laughing at you at all i promise it's it's just like the dissonance in chat when it comes to like i got you know you can use the knife it's better also bethesda good obsidian bad all that yummy coffee good starbucks love that for you it's i hope you're happy be, be sure to stay hydrated do a back check make sure your posture is okay <laughs> i appreciate that it's great Every every chat requ d requires a mimesis. That's not an invitation you to go to other streams. Don't do that. <laughs> Listen. Um, I think I maybe want to get some more storage going. What does more storage require? Wall locker, two titanium, easy peasy. There's also just locker. Large freestanding storage. Is this better? I feel like it's better. I need quartz for that. I'm pretty sure I do have quartz. Somewhere. Man, I'm not good about organizing my inventory. Once again, brought up the Bethesda. I mean, I didn't bring it up. I uh, cited it as an example. Bringing it up would be like, hey chat, do you think that Obsidian is overrated? <laughs> No? Okay. They're the best company ever, right? They're infallible? That's what I'm hearing from chat right now. Gotcha. I'm glad that we all agree on this. <laughs> uh, 
Ugh. Nowhere is okay. Nowhere is okay for this locker. The locker is a very picky goon. I could do this. Sure. I am exclusive to this stream. Okay. Oh, there's this storage. Wait, what? Okay, this storage doesn't have a lot in it, so we're gonna pull out... Yo, don't tell me what to do, actually. Oh, we have creep flying seed cluster. We can make some more rubber. Let's go ahead and do that. It would seem he wants us to talk about it. <laughs> it would seem... It would seem that Bimple is, uh... Would, would love an argument to start in chat. That would... It does seem to be the case, doesn't it? Just came back with my yummy Earl Grey. <laughs> uh, chat is... Uh, is great right now. I love chat. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna deconstruct this wall locker. Oh, really? I'm I'm just trying to do a little bit of inventory management. No, stop stop it! God I hate this the buttons in this game. Jesus Okay. Now, I want to... I'm just going to shove everything in here for now. I, I want to upgrade from wall lockers to freestanding lockers. We are... We are I'm going to... I swear to God... I put away my habitat thing. Where's the habitat thing? I need that. Q. I like Earl Grey a lot, actually. Earl Grey is okay by me. I love me an Earl Grey. Love me a black tea as well. Apparently, Orange Pico is black tea. Didn't know that. Um. I demand a grid. <laughs> Okay, we're making progress here. I'm going to need a bit more titanium. And did I already move? I'm sorry, Kevbo, but your locker is getting destroyed. I'll name one of the new ones, Kevbo. How about that? Are we, are we, we're good, right? Kev, Kevbo's still fuming. Can't believe you would say that Obsidian is a good company. Wow. Wow. Okay. Can I name these ones also? Actually, not being able to name them is kind of an upgrade. I'm gonna I'm gonna just turn this creep vine into rubber. <laughs> Stop saying that, Kevbo. Jesus. Um, I need some of that sweet sweet uh, tube coral. I think. I need my I need my instruments of destruction back. Um. Or my instruments of destruction. I like how I just increased the inventory uh, size, but I have done nothing to actually make the inventory bigger. So I need scanner, repair tool, laser cutter, flashlight. 
Um, we don't need the repulsion cannon anymore. Not not for a while. The stasis rifle. Why did I need the stasis rifle? It freezes physical objects in place. What? Why did I need that? Uh, I need some tube. I need tube. I'm going to dry out. I am so dry. So very dry. So I don't feel that much faster, I'm going to be honest. Where's my knife? No! I don't have a knife. God damn it. This is what happens when you take a stranger to the Alps. Tube. Water check. Why did I need the most OP tool in the entire game, Bimple, on this diocese? Well, I mean, I didn't use it, though. doesn't matter how powerful it is. Did not feel required. What did I... I got something else by accident there. I am very close to death. Please don't die. Please don't die with stuff on me. I need the salt. Salt. Bleach. No! Uh, that's better. Veined nettle seed. All right. All right, we're good. I don't know. I, I don't want this veined nettle seed. We can get rid of that and drop that. Um, so we have the mod station, uh, we have some more batteries, let's, I, I need, uh, we have two on, uh, like, fully charged power cells, this is good, this is a good thing, throw their coral sample in there, um, grab a couple of batteries, I have the rebreather again. Do I need that? I guess I do. So what do I need now? What's the next step? I guess I need to make the prawn suit. What's the prawn suit going to require? Prawn suit. Where are you? There you are. Oh my god. Jesus. That just requires all of the things. Like, everything. It just... It just... Okay, so I have to figure out how to make plasteel ingot, aerogel, enameled glass. How do I make any of that stuff? Also, what is the Neptune? I'm wondering if I should make the scanner room. What does the scanner room require? Titanium, copper, gold, table coral sample. Um, we could do this. Do you think a scanner room is a good idea? I'm going to I'm going to start pulling things out to make the uh scanner room and unless chat tells me otherwise i'm going to make it need two copper oh, that's honestly the the big problem because i don't have enough copper 
I never have enough copper. You can make most of the stuff with what you have or have access to right now, except for aerogel is going to be an adventure. Oh no. I'm not, not a fan of how you say adventure. Also, what I'm hearing is that I can't make it for a while, actually. Um... Really good for finding resources if you already scanned. Okay, well, that's not... Ghostfish. Um, that sounds good. So that means I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to go get some copper. Wondering if there's copper... If some of the copper has, like, reappeared. You said that it... It does grow back very slowly. I guess I am slightly faster because I can now swim away from that guy. I'm assuming that can actually damage my, uh, sh my, my place. You could find the ingredients for your aerogel right now. It's just scary. Yeah, let's not do that. I'm not in the mood for that. Let's, uh, let's go find some copper. I'm gonna make the, uh, I'm gonna make the, uh, scanner room. Let's make the sca scanner room. The scanner room. Have I been down here? <laughs> Never not funny. Man, these guys are going to destroy my sea moth. Uh, how come we're not repairing? Ah, oh, that's why. I don't think I've been down here. Creature egg. I'm assuming that's something I'm going to want to do at some point is like figure out what to do with these creature eggs. Well, there's some copper right there. Titanium. I mean, the sulfur is worth it. That's copper. More copper. We'll drink some more water. We're good on water now. If you're wanting something to do now, Bimble, you can... You have the de depth module. You can take your sea moth into the mushroom caves to the west of your life pod in the red grass plateau. 
Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I guess I can see Moth down there now. Why are you... Why are you... Why did you do that? Um, well, I'm going to make the scanner room first and then we can, we can head out there. But we're, I think, uh, I think Subnautica segment is almost over. So why don't I just make the scanner room and we'll leave the, uh, we'll leave that for next week. I know there was one more there. It's fine. I should have enough copper. Yo, get wrecked, son. Wish you success on being able to pay your bills. Current one can't pay the bills. I know how you could make an extra seven bucks a month. <laughs> Just saying it. If you're struggling, don't don't feel obliged. Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh habit. Five. Scanner room. Oh, we need table coral. Uh. Oh. Don't I have an extra one somewhere? Yeah, there's one. Is that it? Do I have everything I need now? No, I need to design. I actually needed that titanium. Very good. I don't need this cave sulfur, though. All right, I should have everything I need now. Uh, I'm just gonna build it out front like this. Can we do it like this? Where, where does it go? Can I not just like build it here? Okay, I'm gonna build it on the outside, I guess. Um, how come it's not letting me build it? It seems unhappy. Oh, okay. It wants to be like this. Is this correct? Okay, well, we'll do it like this then. Okay, looks all right. I, I'm liking the look of our base now. Uh, how does one access it? it has to be connected to a base piece. I, well, all right. Do I need to build a ladder up to it? How do I get up there? <laughs> Does it need its own, uh, hatch? This is a, this is a weird one. Hatch. Okay, I guess it needs its own hatch. I guess what I could do is connect it, go backwards, and then build a base on top of that one. They're built near the walls. Okay. 
And we have our own, we have a, an extra fabricator here. Camera drone, col controllable camera. Scanner room range upgrade. Scanner room HUD chip streams data from scanner rooms to the HUD. Um, does that mean that like I could access my my scans from like my CMOF? Ah, uh, this is interesting. Magnetite. I have some magnetite. <laughs> that pop in though. I assume I'm getting to the uh, the edge of our range. Excuse me, what are you doing? <laughs> is it just me or is the FOV kind of turned up on this thing? Jesus, that pop in sometimes. How small is this thing? Can I fit in this tube? I can fit in this tube. That's kind of cool. So it does tell us about all the limestone chunks near our base. And there are apparently quite a lot. We have more than one camera. Oh, cool. Well, that's kind of cool, and we can see all this all the limestone we've scanned. We could do the scanner room range upgrade. Real quick. Let me see if I can't make a ladder work first. Hmm. Uh, it doesn't seem to just it doesn't seem to wanna
Okay, well, I have a, I have access to it, so it's not a big deal, but it's just kind of weird. Um, could really do with that battery charger. So I guess the next time we I play next week, we'll we'll do the mushroom biome. That should be good. Okay, we've got full planters. We've got tons of bulba. We, we're good on food. We're actually like really good now. Um, I have some food bars somewhere. Oh, there they are. Uh, all right. So let's call it for Subnautica mushroom biome next week. And I'm going to hit the can real quick and then we're going to do uh, Prey.